new sounds are a constant at Maggie Nolan's house. Well, my mother would tell you I'm a Margaret, but I feel like I'm a Maggie. One sound is powered by electricity. The other, <laughs> by Maggie herself. I'm the original good time girl. <laughs> Both have helped her get through months filled with worry. I made 2,560 masks, and that's when I started counting. I am making them for the folks at the Uptown Healthcare Center at 18th and Clarkson. My son, Leland, lives there, uh, and they take real good care of him. Even though Leland is 55, Maggie will never stop protecting her kid. He got COVID um, back in June. I was sad for him, and I was upset, of course. You know, I'm his mother. <laughs> she made so many masks, <laughs> the fabric scraps piled up, and Maggie doesn't like waste. Let's see. Is it upside down or right side up? It's called Beyond the Mask, and I've dedicated it to people that have survived COVID-19. I made it so that people that have had COVID can sign it. I'd like to donate it to History Colorado, um, and I'd like to get as many signatures as I can. She's made this quilt to honor survivors, like her son, and to show a little hope for the future. Just to get, for everybody to get back to something that we might call normal. Until then, Maggie will keep powering through. Yes, ma'am. Ann Herbst, Nine News.